Here's a pair of PlayStation Pulse Elite headset. I'm gonna show you how to pair and connect these directly to a Windows computer, PC, or laptop. The first thing we gotta do is go to our Bluetooth settings on our computer. There's several ways to get to your Bluetooth settings, but uh, one way is just go down here into the search bar. And we're just gonna type in Bluetooth. And I see it right here, it says Bluetooth and other device settings and it's in the system settings. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna select that right there. Now make sure Bluetooth is turned on, okay? Now we have to go up here where it says add Bluetooth or other device. Let's go ahead and tap on that right there. And from here we get three options, but also we want is Bluetooth that says uh, mice, keyboards, pens, or audio and other kinds of Bluetooth devices. So we want the audio, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and select on this Bluetooth right there. Now it's searching for everything that's in pairing mode, okay? So now we gotta put this in the pairing mode, all right? Now to put this in pairing mode, you have that power button or link button right here. These headphones are currently off, okay? Let me go ahead and first, let, let me turn these on, the buttons here, let me press and hold for like one second. Now they're on. Okay, now it's blinking slow blue, okay? What we want is to, for it to blink fast blue, which would indicate that it's in pairing mode, okay? So let's make this blue blink faster, okay? So here's that power button again. I'm gonna press and hold, ready, set, go. I'm gonna press and hold. Now keep on holding until it starts blinking blue fast. Okay, and as soon as you see it, you gotta let go quickly, okay? Wait, there, oh, it's blinking fast. Okay, you can see it right there. Now, let's go back under here, and it's still blinking here. So it's in pairing mode, and we should see it pop up here. Oh, there it is, Pulse Elite audio right there let's tap on that right there device is ready to go and you can see it's connected and there you go you're connected now when you connect back to your ps5 it should automatically connect as well pretty simple